In chapter 21, the text talks about variable cost and fixed cost. Variable cost are the cost per unit, whereas fixed cost is a fixed cost no matter how many units you create. So the first problem we're going to look at is practice exercise 21 1A. And you're going to look first at the number of units to figure out the highest number of units that were produced. And you see that 30,000 were produced in March at a cost of 700,000. And in January is the lowest production, 10,000 units were produced at a cost of 240,000. And so the first thing you're going to do is calculate the difference between these two amounts. And you're going to get 700,000 minus 240,000 is 460,000. And you're going to divide the difference in cost divided by the difference in units to come up with $23, which is your variable cost per unit. Then you know that total cost can be divided into two categories, variable cost and fixed cost. And so your total cost are going to equal your variable cost, which is $23, times your number of units, plus the fixed cost is going to equal your total cost. Now the total cost is given to us, and we just figured out the variable cost, and we know the number of units, so we're going to figure out what the fixed cost will be. So we'll look at the highest scenario first. The total cost for the month of March was 700000 I mean $700,000. At $23 per unit, we created 30,000 units. And then we're going to solve for fixed cost, which equals 700000 equals 690,000 plus question mark is the fixed cost amount equals $10,000. You can check this with the total cost for the lowest month, which is 240,000 should equal $23 times 10,000 units plus $10,000 for fixed cost should equal, let's multiply it out and see, 240000 equals 23000 plus practice exercise 21-1A ask you to find the variable cost per unit using the high-low method. So the first thing you're going to do is find the month with the number of units produced that is the highest. So in the month of March, we produced 30,000 units at a total cost of 700,000. And the lowest number of units is 10,000. And those 10,000 units were produced in January for a cost of 240,000. Once you find the highest and lowest months, you're going to take the difference between those two. And you get a cost of $460,000. You're going to divide that by 20,000 units to come up with a variable cost per unit of $23. And that answers part A. Part B is where you solve for fixed cost. And in this equation, we're going to make fixed cost X. So we're going to use the highest month to plug in that number. The total cost in March was $700,000. The variable cost were $23 per unit, and we created 30,000 units plus X because we're going to solve for fixed cost. That is 700,000 equals 690,000 plus X. So then we find out that X equals $10,000. We can check that by looking at the lowest amounts which we know that in January we created 10,000 units that cost us 240,000. So the total costs are 240,000. We know that the variable cost is $23 per unit and that 10,000 units were produced in January. And we'll go ahead and plug in that $10,000 fixed cost to see if that is correct. So when you multiply this out, 240,000 equals 
230,000 plus 10,000, that does check out. So 10,000 is the amount of fixed cost. 